Okay, the level. The level is very interesting. I decide the uh, nature of the level by using the Huang Di Nei Jing as a concept. It's very interesting, huh? And it works all the time. The depth which is possible felt superficial pause. I don't I don't consider is uh, yang or or the uh, fu liu fu pause. I consider it as a dryness. As the more floating the pause is, the more dryness it has. In the middle level, deep level. The middle level is normal. We don't mind it too much. So the dryness is from a floating pause. Whenever the pause is floating, so what's the floating pause? When you touch the surface very gently, then you can feel the pulse jump. Sometimes you can see it, boom, 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 it's jumping under it. The most commonly seen area is the right twin. If you look at the right twin, okay, you can check your own pulse. Most, most people have the fire in the upper respiratory system. The right twin will be jumping very superficially and strong, strongly. So in this case, we call it dryness. So no matter when he's coughing or he's suffering from a, a allergy or runny nose, whatever, we know that's a dryness. And dryness come, goes to yaming. What's yaming? Yaming has two channels, uh, the, the stomach and the large intestine. So that's the time you should advise your patient don't eat something too dry, too spicy, too greasy, or there's something too uh, rich to, in, to, to put more burdens to the digestion system. Otherwise, the cough will not be better. And for the dampness, <coughs> this is the most commonly seen area. Deep pause. Deep means dampness. Deep, deep pause has something to do with the Tai Yin. Tai Yin in the Huang Di Nei Jing, just one word. Tai Yin, the pause of Tai Yin, just one word. Deep. That's it. So we do it reversely. The pulse is deep. Now we know something wrong with the Tai Yin. What's Tai Yin? Tai Yin means P, spleen, and lung. Lung is more complicated. Let's talk about spleen first. Spleen what? Spleen contains dampness. That means you have a lot of water retention in your body. So I always write the uh, first line in my evaluation sheet, the dampness something. And always try to remember this. It always it works like magic. You put, <coughs> you can you can you can design. We'll be giving you something like that evaluation sheets. You can do your own design. Then this this should be a skin problem. Follow this following this dampness, because there's, when there's the dampness, there's always skin problem. You will amaze your patients. Hey, how do you know? I have something in the back. I have something. <coughs> In the leg, something is where you cannot see. But whenever there's a dampness, there's a skin problem. Okay? Okay, that's the way uh, we prove that the guy is suffering water. And the next time, sometimes the edema, the, the, the water retention can be huge. And sometimes it's even beyond my imagination. So, and that's, very, that's another interesting uh, part. Next time, after your treatment, you can, uh, sometimes they'll come back. Doctor, I've taken your medicine for a week, nothing changed. I hate that. So, but sometimes you can prove that your medicine will work by doing this. You can, you can check his leg or something. Hey, the, the, the edema is gone. The water is gone. Who said nothing changed? Everything is better. Don't argue with me. Okay, so this is the uh, place we see the water. But that, that means a lot, not just for fun. But the water retention can be a result of many problems. The heart problem, the kidney problem. Or the dampness, or the, the, uh, the, the even the uh, uh, thyroid problem, but we can take care of it according to the pulses by doing this tie-in stuff. Huh? So the point is, deep pulse means water. That's it. Okay. Questions? Okay. Level. <coughs> Dispel the textbook. Oh, okay. Yeah, in school they learn exterior conditions manifested as the superficial pause then no. Why a patient has hypertension or maybe about to have a stroke or have a superficial pause so far? No. The, 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 the superficial and deep pause got nothing to do with exterior and interior. So how do we differentiate the problems is in exterior or interior? That's only 
from the right chun. The right chun area is the lung. If the right chun is floating, that means if, if maybe he's coughing, he's suffering uh, sneezes, sneezes and, and the runny nose or no matter what the symptoms may be, they have the surface condition not, what do you call not resolved, not, not, not finished. So we must clear the surface problem when you treat the bronchial problem by using yin chao san or ge gen tang. You must put 15% ge gen tang or yin chao san in your whole bottle of treatment for the respiratory or cough or bronchitis, asthma or something to expel this exterior wing. We call it wing, right? If we, we get rid of wing, the problem will be better. Like in Western treatment, they give you antibiotics. Good. Kill the germs and suppress the cough. That's good. But if the wing is not being expelled, the, the symptoms will come back after antibiotics wears off. So, must. Uh, the in chao san or ge gen tang to get rid of, get rid of the uh, exterior wing. Okay? So, and, uh, okay, next. Uh, oh, ne level. Normal chun is the most superficial, guan is the mid level, and the chi is the deepest. Evaluating, evaluation, okay. Normally, okay, this is the another uh, saying for normal pulse, like chun guan chi. This is not, uh, th th this is a pulse for normal body type of person. If this guy is very skinny and tall and uh, and uh, skinny and thin, that he might not have this kind of pulse. He might have a straight pulse. This is for normal body, not too fat, not too thin. They will have this pulse, or where the pulse? Like this, chun is higher than guan and higher than chi, something like this. Actually, if the jump is fine, if the uh, level, I mean, if the, 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 the shape and the, 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 the feeling of the pulse are normal, now we can consider it's a normal pulse. This this is actually the hard pulse. We call it hook. This is the a hook pulse, like an ancient hook or something. But there's something. This one, the chi area can be here. The chun can be here. So it's reverse. Now it's like this. Okay. Sometimes it can be this. This is we call the reverse hook. It's a definitely some kind of emotional disturbance very strong condition. This, this guy, the chun is hard, especially in the left side. This is hard, this kidney. That means his, his adrenal condition has overtaken the hard condition. Okay. Is there a question? Sure. If chi is deep, supposed to be deep, mm -hmm. how deep is a damp pulse? Whenever it's too deep, when you feel too much dirty stuff here, then we call it dampness. No, no, as long as the shape, I mean the figure, uh, I mean the outline of the pulse is clear, then it's not dampness. So not only does it mean, so what, what, you mean, what you're saying earlier is if you find a deep pulse, that means dampness. It, it have to be very damp. There's a lot of water there under your fingers, between your finger and the pulse. There's a muddy condition. So it feels unclear. Yeah, and unclear, deep. yes. Otherwise, if the pulse can be deep by the shape of the clear uh, shape, then we will not consider too much dampness, unless it's covered by a layer of uh, foam or, or cotton or something. Then they will can call it dampness. Okay. Then conversely, Eric has another question. If chun is superficial, yeah. Then how do we determine what's supposed to be floating? Yeah. Oh, this 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 over here. So when it's floating too, floating, too floating is considered diseased. Yes. Regularly, chun should be on a superficial a level, just yeah. under the skin. Yeah. But if the difference becomes too much, then it's also sickness. Like I said, it's no normal pulse. Okay. Dampness has come with some dirtiness. So whenever the shape, I mean, the 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 lun kuo just one. Outlines. The outline of the vessel. Outline of the vessel is clear like this. It's not considered to be dampness. No matter how deep it is, it's still clean. Unless there's a 
there's a lot of dirty things on top of the vessel and under your finger is so greasy or you f like feeling a bunch of a cotton, then it's dangerous. Okay? It's difficult to imagine, but you have, so you have to practice more and more and more.